This is the story of a victory on the frontiers of flight. It begins with a blueprint from which an airplane grew. A new kind of airplane with a three-pointed wing like the Greek letter Delta with another big triangle for a fin. Its Air Force number was XF-92A. X for experimental, F for fighter. A very fast fighter if predictions came true. But there was much to learn. It was 1948, a long time ago as time is counted in aviation. And not much was known about flying at the speed of sound. To get the feel of this new kind of wing, high-speed runs were made on the flat desert at Edwards Air Force Base under strict military secrecy. At last, the first flight was at hand. Would this new wing be a success or a total flop, as some skeptics insisted? It was up to the 92A to find the answers. The date? September 18th, 1948. The world's first Delta was in the air. That first successful flight was only the beginning. For nearly five years, test pilots put her through her paces, including downhill flight at the speed of sound. As with every test program, there were discouragements as well as successes. But out of it all came the conclusion the Delta Wing would have many advantages at the speed of sound and beyond. And so to the world of flight had come a new shape the Delta Wing, a shape that was soon to appear on a whole new breed of high-spirited aircraft. <laughs> Meanwhile, other Convair designers were at work on a different project, a new type of seaplane fighter. And then because of the success of the XF-92A, the Delta Wing was applied to a seaplane. The world's first jet seaplane, the Sea Dart. the art of her design shows clearly. Spray is thrown to the sides, away from the air ducts that feed the engines. Water skis quickly lift the hull off the water for easier takeoff. Behind, a cloud of steam from the jet blast of her tailpipes. Once in the air, the Sea Dart skis are tucked up into her hull, and her kinship with the XF-92A is obvious. This Delta Wing was the flying wedge that split the sound barrier and gave to the Sea Dart the title World's First Supersonic Seaplane. With her Delta Wing, Landings are made at relatively low speed and as gracefully as a water bird. 
and her speed is matched by utility. For her, every sizable strip of water is a ready-made landing field. Bays, lakes, rivers, the sea dart can land on them all. Thus, the Delta Wing advanced the cause of air power by sea. One of man's long-time dreams is an airplane that would take off straight up. Now it seemed possible with an engine that could pull a plane up by its bootstraps and the Delta Wing. When the plane was built, its first tests were made in this huge building at Moffett Field, California. It was nicknamed Pogo Stick, officially Navy XFY-1. No plane had ever flown like this before, so a test harness was invented. The plane was actually flying inside the building, but should anything go wrong, strong cables would prevent disaster. stick was ready for free flight. Straight up, the first in history. smoothly shift over to straight and level flight once in the air. This is where the Delta Wing is so important. For with this wing, a stall is next to impossible. Here is an airplane that can operate from the deck of a ship, from a clearing in the jungle, or the top of a big building. Get in flight, it probably is the fastest propeller fighter ever flown. To land, Pogo points its nose skyward. With an ordinary wing, there would be great risk of a stall, and the plane might fall out of control. But with the Delta Wing, it is a graceful maneuver, almost like penmanship in the sky. Pogo is called the plane that can land on a dime. And its wing stems straight from the Delta XF-92A. comes the airplane in which the Delta heritage runs strongest of all. Blooded offspring of the XF-92A, U.S. Air Force F-102. go into service with Air Defense Command U.S. Air Force on the team that guards our nation from enemy attack. 
This distinguished team includes not only people of the Air Force, but civilians, serving as aircraft spotters and in the filter centers, keeping watch on the ramparts of freedom. And this plane will be the instrument of that team. and Delta Wings to date. It has come from many hands and brains. In the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics, and Convair, designer and builder of the planes. It is progress that will continue and of the challenges that lie beyond tomorrow. 